Today we're going to be making this glitter drip wine glass, so let's get to it. You'll need a couple different sizes of paintbrushes, some Mod Podge, and whichever color of glitter you choose. I picked up this wine glass from the dollar store. So you're going to paint a thin layer of Mod Podge around the base, work in two or three layers so it stays wet enough for the glitter to stick. And do the same around the stem, working upwards. Now start bringing the Mod Podge down the bowl of the glass. You're going to want to take it about one third of the way down the bowl, working in sections. So now we're going to start the drips. You're going to want to make sure that they're going straight. You don't want them going sideways or on angles. You want them looking like they're going straight down. Working with three or four drips at a time, try to connect the base of the drip so everything flows together. You're going to want to use newspaper or something to catch the glitter. I didn't use anything for filming purposes, so it did leave a mess every time. We'll be dealing with the loose glitter once everything's all sealed and dry, so no need to wipe it off. And the first layer is all done. I waited about three hours before the Mod Podge was fully hardened before starting my second coat. Again, you're gonna to wanna to work with a thin layer of Mod Podge. Now that we have the first layer of glitter down, you'll have more time to work with the Mod Podge so you can cover the base before adding the glitter. And you're gonna do the same working from the base to the stem to the bowl. Now we're going to work on the second layer of drips. I'm adding an extra dab of Mod Podge to the end of the drip for dimension. I found doing two or three layers at a time worked best. I did three layers in total over the full glass. You want to make sure that you're letting the glass dry upside down between each layer. This will prevent the drips from falling back down. After the three layers were dry, I went back in and added some more drip to the tip for dimension. I made sure to add some around the edge of the glass as well. So once the drip layer is dry, you're going to want to add another layer. Now it was hard for me to keep the glass straight up because I was filming, but you're going to want to remember to do this just to make sure that the drips don't move. And don't add too big of a glob at once, otherwise it will move. This is why we're working in stages.
Once I let this drip layer dry, I went in and added another layer for a total of four drip layers. So now that it's all dry, you're gonna go in and seal it with the Mod Podge. You're gonna to wanna to get into all the crevices, making sure you're doing a thin layer. You can also seal this using a resin, giving it a shiny, harder look, which I'll definitely be trying in another video. Try to avoid painting on the glass, but we will be touching it up once it's dry. Once it's all dry, I'm going to take my Cricut scraper and just go along the edges getting any loose glitter, any dried glue on the glass. I'm making this for my friend's birthday, so I decided to do a recipe on the bottom of the glass for her. I used a white acrylic paint from the dollar store. I ended up painting four layers in total on the bottom, drying in between. And this is everything all dry. So I'm just gonna go in and write the recipe for this on the bottom. I used a black acrylic paint from the dollar store and just a toothpick. I'm sure I could have used something else, but this is what I had, so I went for it. So once I had the recipe all written out, I went in with a high shine, non-yellowing polyurethane to seal the bottom. And here we are, your new glitter drip wine glass ready to drink out of. Just remember, hand wash only. Please like, follow, and subscribe. Leave a comment below if you have any tips for this video or any ideas for my next videos, and turn on the notification bell for my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.